On the 18th of May, 1944, after months of battle, Polish forces captured the strategically crucial hill at Monte Cassino, paving the way for the Allied advance on Rome. This force, the Second Polish Corps, was formed from the so-called Anders Army, named after its talismanic leader, General Władysław Anders. When Germany invaded Poland on the 1st of September 1939, Anders, already a talented leader, was immediately called into action to defend his homeland. But after four weeks of hard combat, he, like thousands of other Polish fighters, was captured by Soviet forces and deported east, where he was held in the infamous Lubyanka prison in Moscow. In 1941, though, Germany launched their invasion of the Soviet Union. Soon after, Anders and the thousands of other Polish prisoners who had been held from 1939 found themselves free. Anders led his newly freed country folk out of the Soviet Union, south into Iran and Iraq, before they joined with the British in Palestine. It was on this journey that the Polish Second Corps was created. They would go on to play a key role in the Allied assault through Italy. Fighting heroically under Anders at Monte Cassino, they went on to score other key victories at Ancona, Bologna, and on the Gothic Line. After the war, Anders was stripped of his Polish citizenship by the communists. So he remained here in London. He became a leading figure in the government in exile and the emigre community, always advocating for greater rights for his fellow countrymen. Anders died in 1970. And in accordance with his wishes, he was buried alongside his men in the military cemetery at Monte Cassino, the site of his most famous victory.